and this will be my video about Google TV as well as Android 2.1 in a car. Google is working with Intel and Sony to develop a new class of internet-enabled televisions and set-top boxes, according to New York Times. The effort known as Google TV has been underway for several months and is based on Google's Android software, which is currently available in certain smartphones. Logitech International is also involved and is developing peripheral devices such as a tiny keyboard. The partners envision technology that will make it as easy for TV users to navigate web applications like the Twitter social network. Google has begun testing the set-top box technology with Dish Network. Efforts to converge computing and TV watching have an uneven history. Despite such major attempts to bridge the gap as Microsoft's Media Center and Apple TV, and much more recently, such things as TVs, TiVo's embrace of YouTube and another web-based services. Real computing of any kind requires a real keyboard. Viewing a TV set or home theater system is done from a far greater distance than a laptop. TV is immersive, and so is email, surfing, social network, etc. And yet, TV is now an app on smartphones. And your gaming system can connect to your Facebook and other social media. Apple's iPad, set to be released on April 3rd, may finally deliver disruptive punch to the promise of casual computing in the living room. Not as an, uh, not just like a television, but as a synergistic component of the entertainment hub. Google is expected to deliver a toolkit for outside programmers within the next couple of months, and products based on the software could appear as soon as this summer. The first car, equipped with Google's Android mobile, mobile operating system, will hit the streets this April 23rd. It's called the Rove uh, 350, and it will la launch at the Beijing Auto Show. Rove vehicles are luxury cars made by a Chinese car company, Shanghai Automotive Industry Corporation. Using technology based uh, from British company MG Rover, which was also owned by BMW in the past. The 2.1 version of Android, the same Google used in the Nexus One and Motorola Droid, is installed on the vehicle's GPS computer. You can use the computer for directions and traffic reports, just as you can with many other GPS devices. You can also search uh, on the web with this device in some form of internet chatting. There is no telling why you'll uh, be, be using this service, but it's only going to be available in China. We haven't heard whether or not you'll be able to install apps from the Android market. We also don't know if the device connects to the internet. The car will cost uh, between uh, 10000 to two hundred uh, to uh, $19,000 in US dollars. So, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and rate 5 stars. Thanks for watching.